did you have any high, like what was a high from the whole six years you were there? Like, do you remember, like, does one thing stick out? I mean, not one thing. I would say generally in the beginning, uh, I mean, it was crazy, but the craziness was kind of amusing to me, except for some of the stuff that Aviva, remember Aviva, she had the, the, uh, the false leg and some of the stuff she was saying, because again, it was like career shaming. And, and I'd worked hard and that was something that I was, I was willing to fight to protect. And, you know, some of the stuff that she was saying about uh, my writing career was just so whack. And I was new and naive and I, I should have just been like, girl, pipe down. You don't know what you're talking about. But, but like, I got uh, so upset by that, that someone would say that and try to shame me or um, to, to uh, you know, just lie about, about my, my career so 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 that wasn't so fun but but even in that season with her because she was so crazy I mean we, we, I remember Heather and I laughed so much I mean we laughed the first season you know the all the women I thought oh my god I, this is just nuts the way they're they act and then St. Bart's and the pirate and the and it was just nuts so I, I would say generally it was kind of fun and it was it was fun for me to, um, not that I was pretending to be someone I'm not, but there is a sort of little bit of a pretense. It's like, oh, here we go, you know, and you can dress up and do hair and makeup in ways that like, you just don't normally in real life, you know, you don't, you know, get put on a dress and put on, you know, full makeup to go to lunch. Right. With your friends and stuff. So that was kind of a fun thing to do for a little while. Then that, you know, just, it got, it got old. It got old to me. I think ultimately if, and this is true across the board for, I think people would understand this. Like if you're not aligned with the choices you're making in life, it's eventually going to be a problem for you. And I was never in alignment with what was going on on the show, you know, whether it was the misogynistic undertone of it, um, wh whether it was the, the drinking and the drunkenness. Um, I was never aligned with it. And you could just do that for so long before it really started, like it started really, it started really getting to me in a, in a way that I wasn't willing so much that last season to make myself smaller, right? I was just, I wasn't, I wasn't willing to do some of the things. So just let it roll, brush it off, who cares? Um, yeah, so, so I, you know, so it, it took six years for that misalignment to really come out. Um, but eventually it does. And, um, and I probably, you know, I probably, I, I, I felt it during the 2016 season when we were talking about the election and then how it played out on the show. I thought, oh, this isn't, you know, but I'm going to do it again because the at that point, the money is so good. You know, the money is great towards the end, right? After like, see, after you've been on it four or five seasons. Right. You know, in fact, the first season, you don't get paid really anything. It's just like a budget. I always thought of it like Rob was giving me a budget and and it's not a big budget. And the first year, everyone gets paid 60,000. I was just going to say like 60,000. Right. Well, they start with 50 and then they go up to 60. Like that's a, but I, since I was naive about it, um, I thought 60,000. I was like, that's crazy. No one's doing this for $60,000 plus. It's just a budget in which you use that money to help them create content for their franchise, their quarter of a billion dollar franchise. So it's like out of that budget, 60 bucks, you have to take out your wardrobe, hair, makeup, whatever you do. Shopping, for instance, you'd have to go shopping on the show. And then you'd have to, I would feel obligated to buy shit, right? And then it's like, wow, this is like, so it was like all coming out of the budget. I ended up getting a hundred thousand the first season because just because I was like, I don't do it for 60. I'll do it for a hundred. I remember my lawyer at the time said they're never going to go for it. I said, okay, I don't even care. I, I, I don't, I, I don't want to do it. I, I mean, I just feel like as a, 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 as a, as a point of pride or something like yeah. $60,000. So, so then they said, yes. Which so, I'm shocked. I'm shocked. They let you put that clause in and gave you a hundred thousand dollars. I'm shocked. Well, I'll show you the contract that, you know, no, I mean, I, I believe you. It's just good for you. Cause they don't usually, they must really have wanted you. I mean, I think they had blown up the show at that point and right. They'd fired like four people, which is nuts, but that's the production company. You know, they, they didn't really know what they were doing and they just hired, they, they were 
they were. I mean, I guess they were desperate. Um, I only found out that none of them, the Heather and Aviva, didn't get the hundred thousand because then the second season we were negotiating, and then, and then they gave us one hundred and fifty, and I was like, oh well, okay. And I was like, but Heather thought it was great. I'm like, it's not that great. She's like, double. And then I realized they had just paid her the sixty. Of course, yeah. I immediately told her because I wasn't gonna like pretend or lie to her. I was like, just so you know, girl, this is what they. Um, but they did it in fancy accounting. So if you actually see my paycheck stub, it looks like I was just getting 60. But I, I, I got paid to, to like from two different, I don't know, two different accounts, or there's like some paid from Bravo, some paid from, from Shed Media. Interesting. Yeah. What about, well, I mean, yes, I, to your point about Aviva, I know that if I ever get in a fight with you, I can call you a bitch. I can call you anything, but I will not ever suggest that you have. <laughs> no, I mean, I just, I, don't mean, I, I get that. it. Don't, don't. Don't belittle something that I really care about. And that's really not that much other than my husband and his family and my career that, I, you know. That makes sense. Listen, I mean, I don't, writing a book is not easy. I mean, they weren't, they were, they weren't willing to talk about any of the great thing, right? Like it wasn't like they were talking about, like asking me about my travels at ABC and the stories I had covered and winning Emmys and uh you know all the you know all the awards they weren't they no one they only wanted to talk about they only wanted to trash it up so i was like oh i'm not okay with that but but it's um, understandable yeah did you have a low from the whole time you were there like was there um, just one memory well, what else is happening i mean then on the show oh and then i met adam that was fun because he's he was cute for isn't that, isn't that one of the highs you had Adam for a little while? I mean, that <laughs> Carol, that would be a high for me. I mean, I'm over here in Chelsea, not that far away. You could have sent him my way. <laughs> um, no, that would, I'll tell you, that was so completely unexpected because another thing I thought I'd gone on that first season, I was just like sort of ending a, a relationship with uh, Russell, right? He was yeah. the keyboard player in Aerosmith, right? So it, you know, we had been together kind of off and on for two years when I was living in LA and that was fun, but I felt like it was kind of coming sort of to an end. And, um, and, and he was on the show that first season with me a couple of times, but, but they were, they were touring. Uh, Aerosmith, I think was toured that like for three months that first when we were filming. So he wasn't around anyway. Oh, in fact, we went to St. Bart's because he was playing in a, film, a music festival in St. Bart's. That was the, that was technically the reason Oh. You know, we were desperate to find a reason for us to go anywhere. And I'm like, well, Russ is playing in a music festival. We could pretend, you know, we could pretend we're uh, really desperate to go see him in this <laughs> music festival. They're like, great. <laughs> They're like um, Aerosmith. Perfect. That, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. And um, so we did that. So, um, but, but then after that relationship was over, I felt like I'm on the show and it's really hard to have a private life and really date someone of, of, of consequence that I really like and, and, and who wouldn't be so uh, bl blown away by the whole TV machinery of it all, right? Like yeah. no, no one is gonna wanna be part of this crazy, crazy town show. Uh, so it was nice when I met Adam, uh, cause I, I sort of resigned myself to not being in a relationship for a couple of years. I was fine with that. I'm like, let me just do this and like, focus on this and not be in a relationship and have them, the women like trash it up. Right. So then I meet Adam and, and it was nice because it was on the show. It was completely unexpected. I mean, it really was that moment we met, I think was on the show. Like wow. I walked into the kitchen. I was like, hi, who are you? And, um, and of course that got trashed up a little, but I, we didn't care Adam and I, because off camera was our relationship. Right. What that the, they were chatting about and what Luann continues to just chat about is ridiculous, uh, you know, was irrelevant to us. But, it, it, you know, ultimately we were together about four years, three or four years. And it does it does have it does weigh on you. You know, it's hard really to have um, a relationship um, and, and 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 show it on the show and, and like ha have the show not, it, you know, uh, impact the relationship, even though as much as we tried to keep it off the show. Four years is, I mean, do you think it would have lasted longer if it wasn't for the show or do you think it actually no, lasted I think longer? Four years good. I think four years was good. Honestly, I, I mean, four yeah, uh, I'm, yeah, no, four, it was, it, it was, we had a great run for the time we were together and we're still friends now. 